Okay, I am live. It is Mickey B. Let me start over. <laughs> How do I start a video? I feel like I haven't done one in a while, but welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you. And if we have, it's good to see you again. Welcome to my Dollar Tree haul, my live Dollar Tree haul number 12, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm here again in the wee hours of the morning. I forgot to check to see what time it is, but I think it's probably about one o'clock in the morning. Um, those seem to be my more productive hours these days, so I go ahead and run with it. Um, I know there's probably nobody here right now, and I'm good with that, so you guys can wake up and, uh, again, find out all the good things that I have found at the Dollar Tree um, last week, last weekend. Um, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, let me say, don't forget to enter win one Wednesday, win $5, a chance to win $5 every week. Um, so the, the video's up, um, and then I'll pick someone on Sunday. So let's go ahead and jump into this live. And where do I start? I've got a lot of great things to share with you guys. I think these are items that are going to go really fast. So Let's just jump into the first thing. I got stuff spread all over the table, so I'm going to try to go fast and not be too chatty. Oh, and the elephant in the room. I'm wearing my glasses tonight because my eye... First, this one was bothering me, so I stopped wearing contacts for this one to clear up, and it did. And then it moved over to this one, so it was a little red and irritated, so I figured I'd just go ahead and um, wear my glasses so at least I don't have to look for them and I see better with them anyways. So let's jump right in. The first item that I found was this um, More Makeup. It's this Rebel Eyeshadows Palette and it looks like that and it has real, um, I don't want to say muted colors but more, uh, they're, they look more earthy to me. They're, they could be bright but they're not. They're more earthy colors they're earthy colors of a bright color, if that makes sense. So, like, there's a pink, a red, and a purple, but it's not vibrant. It's more, are they matte? Does it, can you have a matte eyeshadow palette? Um, it doesn't say. It's all it says. This is what the back of it looks like. Just, uh, it says City Cosmetics, Inc., and it's Los Angeles, California, again. So, and it's wrapped in plastic, so I'm not going to open this one, but, um, yeah, it's a nice long eyeshadow palette. You get a lot of colors in it. And actually, you know what? Let me just go ahead and open it for you because I know I'm curious myself. And Oh, and it has a little perforated tear just like that to make it easy to open. So that, that was easy. Take off the plastic. So this is what it looks like. You probably can see it better too without the shiny. This is a hard cardboard again. It's not plastic. And then when you open it up, it's got that, I think, that magnetic type of closure. Oh, okay. And so you open it up, and it has two mirrors. Oh, and then the palettes are, let me move this piece of, piece of plastic off the top like that. So it has all of those colors. You can actually see them a lot better, and you get a lot more. When it was closed, it kind of looked like that they were that small, but that was kind of misleading. So I'm glad I did open it. And then you have, oh, that's not two mirrors. It's the mirror on the top and then the see-through part on the bottom here. I thought that was a double mirror. And then you get the applicator. And it looks like a two-ended applicator. I think it is. There's a brush on one end and then a foam, foam piece on the other. So that's what this looks like. And just up close... It kind of looks um, like it has metallic e vibes to it like the other one did. So anyways, another good item to add uh, with the other ones if you know someone who likes makeup and palette. All right, so moving on. Let's get this trash out of the way. All right, so I'm trying to stay organized because every time I go out of order like this, I forget something in the end. So let's try to move everything over to this side that I've hauled. Okay, so the next item, we'll do that. 
next items I have. Now these were nice. These came from the craft area and these are iron on art. And this one is a little crown that says queen. And I thought that was cute. The queen is in pink. And then there's a close up for you, some other details. So that's a cute little iron on that you can put on a bag, a apron, a, a t-shirt, anything. Um, they had another one that said blessed. And this is in gold, uh, little rhinestones. And then the last one, I think there was one more that, I, that said hope, but I didn't get that one. And then this one says faith. And it's just clear rhinestones. So all three of these were in the craft area. And the fourth one said hope. So I will have that one in my next walkthrough video that should go up, I'm hoping, Saturday. Because um, what today is Friday. So you'll get this today. And then hopefully Saturday I'll put the walkthrough up where I got a lot of this stuff. So you'll see all the stuff that I did not get. Um, then they had some in the hair... Uh, hair department. They had this frozen bowl. Look at how big this bowl is. Very pretty. You have a little girl who loves frozen and loves bows. Um, a nice big frozen bowl. They also had this one, which I know is going to be very popular. This LOL surprise. Is that what it's called? LOL surprise. Look at that big bow and look at the little girl in the middle. And then on the ribbon, I think there's the other girls as well. So that's cute. That would go with a cute little jean outfit because of the blue color. Um, they also had these Jojo Siwa bows. Nice and pink and cute and frilly with unicorns on it. And then the last one that they had was also another Jojo Siwa bow. And look at how pretty this one is with the little rhinestone in the middle. This um, looks like those one of those wraps that I wear on my head. Remember, there's one that's similar to this um, tie-dye kind of color. So that one was pretty. This was my favorite out of the group because I think the rhinestone just really takes it to another level. And then they also had a couple more hair products for little girls. They had these LOL Surprise... Um, Hair ties, is that what they call them? Oh, you know what they are, the little scrunchy thingies. And then it has the little buttons on top of a couple of them. And that's a nice little pack of two, four, six, eight, and 12. Oh, and I just noticed the on the, the little button parts are the four different little, I don't know if it's four of these girls or if there's more, but there's four different ones on this the little button so and then the last item is this also lol surprise these two little hair clips that have the kind of clip that folds flat and kind of locks your hair into place so there's that one and that one they're kind of like a diamond uh top to it it's like a rhinestone but the little girl pictures underneath the rhinestone part so those I thought were really cute items to find in the hair department for little girls. Bows are always a nice addition when you have a little girl and you're dressing her up and they want to feel dressed up. Get them some bows for their hair. Never fails. Um, then I got in the food section, I found these two different, this brand is called Rondoletti, the Delicious Cream Wafers. I've never heard of them, but you know, they've always had these kind of little cookies there. And um, it's it's been another brand. I don't think this is the same one, but it's the same idea. And they had different types of uh, different flavors. These were the two that were left. I hauled these in another video. I can't remember the number in one of the walkthroughs and it had all the different flavors of these cookies, but I went ahead i wanted to give away a couple of gifts i have a couple of birthdays and things coming up so i wanted to put some of these and a couple of those gifts so i got those and then i found two books so let's just get these two books out of the way early this first one now i know it is may but this you can never buy a book for christmas too early when it's a good value like this this is um 
Jack Frost versus the Abominable Snowman. And this is a Barnes and Noble exclusive edition. And this book sold, sold for $17.99. I think the price is in here. Oh, here we go. The price is right here for those of you who like to see evidence of what we're saying. So it's sold for $17.99. It is a hard copy book. And what I like about it, it does have the cover on it like this. But if you take the cover off, let's just go ahead and show that for you. You take the cover off and it's still the same book. And it's a nice hard copy book that could be a great uh, book to read every Christmas for whatever little kid you decide to give this to if you are able to find it. Um, and I start, I, I looked through it a little bit because I thought it, it kind of had a little gimmick to it where it says you determine, um, you decide how the story unfolds. See at the bottom where it says that. And so I was curious as to how that really went down. And all it was is there's a race between Jack Frost and the snowman. And you can either decide to follow Jack's story or you could follow the abominable snowman story as they give you the uh, events that take place in the book. So it's, you know, a little gimmicky. You could just read it all at the same time and just find out what happens to both of them simultaneously. Or you could just read Jack's and then come back and just read The Snowman. So that's the little gimmick, but I thought that would be a great little um, Christmas item to give to someone with a little kid. Now, this is a book I saw. Um, who did I see haul this book? I think it was... Um, Anna from Only In My Dreams. I'm pretty sure she hauled this book. And when I saw it in the store, it's like, wow, this is a really nice book. This is huge. It's heavy. It's hard copy. And um, this book sold for $30 US. You can see it right there. Maybe the glare is too much. I think the glare is too much on here. But if I get close enough, does that help? Nope. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. So $30 US, nice book. This is a book that has, look at the inside of the cover. You know how I am with books. It's hard for me to show you, but here we go. Here's some of what it looks like. And apparently there was a movie, I mean a TV series called Rome. I don't think I ever heard of it or saw it, but this is a great book to look through. And if it gives you some idea of what Rome looks like and some of the places, oops, some of the places in Rome, then I think it might be a good read. And so those are the two books that I got. Stuff over. Oops, calm down. All right, and what I forgot to show you on this one, the Jack Frost one, I wanted to give you a little bit of what the graphics look like in this book as well got to do that just in case anyone's curious of what it looks like so it's very well illustrated very colorful and I think it would be a great gift for a little boy or a girl during the holidays okay we got that out of the way I'm trying very hard not to forget anything today now this next item right here is a repeat purchase and I'll just leave this stuff in here it's this uh, container I bought a bunch of these with the matching lid and it has allowed me to organize a lot of stuff in my uh, craft room, in my bedrooms, in the bathrooms. It holds a lot and I love how the lid, how they have the lid. I'm kind of, when I'm uh, decluttering and organizing things now, I really am drawn to uh, containers that come with lids because I just like to that you're able to keep things out of it. Um, and if it would fall or something, it would hold everything in there. Things won't go, won't go all over the place if it tipped over or something like that. So I really like those for that reason. And they, they do hold quite a bit, especially like the makeup and stuff and the lip gloss and the eyeshadows. A lot of the little things that you buy, you wanna contain them, but keep like all together, like items together, then they're great for that. Now, this is something that I thought was a good deal, and it is just in time for Father's Day. It is this Mossy Oak t-shirt, and it's only, the only size that I found was extra large, and it's this uh, camouflage print. Well, on this left side, 
it has the logo mossy oak on it and then here's what the whole shirt looks like it's like a camouflage type of shirt nice big tall extra large so i think this is a good size for the average joe especially if they t-shirts tend to have a tendency to shrink up um here's the labels that are hanging from the shirt just so you can see the authenticity of the mossy oak brand so yeah i think for a dollar 25 this is a great shirt it all it gives me um army army vibes uh, what do you call those things they wear when they're in the army? The camouflage looking stuff. They call them something. But it makes me think of that as well. But, you know, very much a male shirt. So that's a great item if you could find that to give to someone, to some the man in your life for Father's Day, if you could find that. Another repeat purchase here, but a different design are these car coasters. The last haul, I hauled the peace sign ones. And these are the good vibes. And I like the peace sign one so much. I put them in my, I have two cars, so I put them in one because I'm like, what are these about? And it really, you know, stepped it up because remember I told you I had a uh, old sock at the bottom of my drink holder. So that when I put those two uh, peace signs in there and they're made out of ceramic and they're absorbing, they just make it look really nice and really clean. So I said, I would like to get some more from my other car. So that's what those are for. Now, here's a name brand item, Play School Chalk. It comes with the chalk holder, the three pieces of chalk, and then two additional pieces of chalk to add in there. Um, five sidewalk chalk sticks. Oh, it says there's three stencils and two chalk holders. So the stencils must be behind the chalk because I don't see anything. Oh, yes, I do. There are, you probably can't see it from there, but there are two flat stencils behind this. I didn't even realize that when I bought it. But yeah, that's a great little gift for summertime fun. School's almost out if it isn't already out for you guys. And um, these aren't going to last long. You know, the name brand stuff goes rather quickly. So if you're putting together like a summertime basket or a summertime um, gift, that's great to add in there. Play school, you can't go wrong with the name brand. And then I found these also in the crafter scare, scare, crafter square section. They had these patterns for people who sew. My mother and my two sisters all sewed. I didn't pick up the, the skill. I became the crafter, but one crocheted and knitted, and they both sewed. They all three sewed, but I tried sewing. I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like all this pattern crap and putting it on the what is it the bias I just that just it didn't it wasn't easy for me to grasp but I remember buying patterns with them so these were fun crafty looking patterns so I figured this might be something I could try and look at the cute teddy bear you know it's cutesy stuff so these are things that caught my eye that I don't think are too hard to do they shouldn't be and here's the third one if you wanted to make a bag so I'm hoping that they're pretty simple. Um, I do have a sewing machine that has a lot of dust on it because I use it to hold my TV because it's like a built-in case sewing machine. So maybe these would be something that I could try to make with a pattern and all. Maybe it's not too complicated, but if I could, I think it would be quite fun to um, try to make some of these items, especially if you need to make a gift or something for like a baby shower or housewarming or just any general type of gift. Everybody could use a bag in their life and to be able to customize it with the fabric and the colors that you would like. So next, I found these cute little bags that also LOL surprise. And there's two, a set of two. This is the first one. And they're the plastic kind of material. And then the second one is this cute little girl. Look at those big old eyes. Very cute. Um, and then they just, they're both the same on either side. So you get two bags for that. You know, LOL is always um, popular with the kids. Name brand stuff is always going to be popular. So when you can get it, definitely get it. Now, here's something that I found. Let's slide this over here. These are, let me unwrap them because they're delicate. 
they had different drawer pulls or handles, doorknobs or drawer pulls. What do they call these? Uh, they call them decorative glass knob. So I got a set of four of these. And when I was redoing my bathroom, I know that these things can be costly. So to be able to get four for $5, that's a pretty good deal. And they had other designs of these. This is the one that caught my eye. So if you want to see all the other designs they had, catch my next walkthrough that, again, should be up uh, Saturday. Saturday, hopefully Saturday morning. I can knock it out and get it edited. Now, I found tons of containers, new containers that I wanted to use to uh, make gifts in and give away to people. So I was tired of the same old, same old ones I had. So I wanted to get some different ones. So I got this one in this turquoise blue. And then they had it in pink with this kind of a, not a basket weave design, but a geometric type of basket weave design. And then the third color that I found in this was this nice blue color. And this would be great if you're planning to give someone a gift basket for Father's Day and you need uh, more of a male color to put the gift in there, then that would be a nice option. The other containers I found are, these are planters, but they could easily be used to put a gift in or you could use them as a planter this hexagon design. That's what it looks like at the top. And then you just punch the holes in it at the bottom should you use it as a planter. And if you do give it away, they can use it as a planter. So they had this in white and they also had it in black. And I like the top of it, how if you do want to use this for a gift, it, the top is flat where you can stack things on top of it. So it make it easy to do that with this item. Okay, the other containers I found were also planters, but very cute and frilly. Look at the little scalloped edges and they're nice and opal shaped. So they're not huge. They're, they're big, they're a good size, but they're not huge. So thinking in terms of a gift, um, it just gives it that nice, delicate, soft um, look. So if you wanted to give something to a female, these would be perfect. They also came in this peach color. And I like the little design across the top. Almost looks like flowers. Like a bouquet of flowers. And you could also use it for a male gift because it came in black. So the frilliness doesn't show too much if you did want to use it for a male gift. And then the last color that I found it, and they could have more. These are the only ones that I found. And this is a nice beige, tan, bone kind of a color. So these are, again, a nice size, nice and thin, perfect for uh, gift giving or uh, using it in the garden. And then the last container was just this one. Now, I have some of these, but this is a smaller size. So again, if you want to gift someone something, and this would be great for Father's Day. For example, if I wanted to use it for the shirt, look at how well it blends. And it has more of a masculine feel to it because of the dark um because of the black color so those are the containers that i found so let's move those over there now next here are some cute little items that i found in the what's it's not the garden area but it's the area where they have like the flowers and the wreath forms and the glass jars like the vases and stuff they had some uh what are these called? Some more of these little succulent, what do they call these? These little planters, they call them animal planters. But aren't they cute? These are the four that they had. And this one is the flamingo, which I've taken out of the box so you can see how cute that is. Cute little flamingo. Flamingos are popular in the summer. And you know what's funny, on YouTube, I watch a lot of those doorbell um videos to show why you should have a ring camera because they show all the weird stuff people do uh at night at other people's homes and they had a ring they had a video where these people had a plant and they had like a flamingo decoration and the guy it was a guy went and stole the flamingo and the plant like who why would you want a flamingo like you would risk everything to steal a flamingo so i thought that was pretty funny so the next one that I got is the cat. 
and this is what the cat looks like. The cat's really cute. And I don't like cats. I like dogs. But in this design, I didn't like the dog. Here's the dog right here. I'll show you again. There's the dog. But I didn't like the dog in person. I like the cat better, which I thought was interesting. He's really cute. And it's white with a little pink ears. That could be white, too. So you can see the pink ears. I hope my um, my camera isn't washing the color out. But that was the cat. And then the last one was the zebra. Now, funny enough, they had more of Mr. Zebra than any of them. And so I thought, oh, this one's probably not cute. So when I opened it and I looked at him, I thought he was the cutest out of them all to me because of the stripes. And I don't know. I just thought the zebra was really cute. You guys think the zebra's cute or you think he's ugly compared to, well, the flamingo, I could see why it was popular. It's pink. It's a flamingo. Summer's coming up. But I think the zebra's also cute. I don't know why that it seemed like nobody was buying the zebra. So. Um, but I went ahead and got it because I liked it. So those are the three that I got of the four that was available. And if you do like the dog one, they did have a few of the dog ones too. So maybe other people didn't like them as well. Now here's an item that I thought was a great deal. Look at these huge uh, cleaning products from Johnson and jo is it Johnson and Johnson? Uh, SC Johnson and Johnson. I thought I saw that somewhere on here. Yes, it says right on the front, S.C. Johnson, S.C. Johnson, a family company. So it says that right there, Fantastic Bleach. You guys remember Fantastic? It's like a all-purpose cleaning. All-purpose cleaner with bleach eliminates tough stains with bleach. This is one quart, 32 fluid ounces, and they're huge. I don't know if you... I don't have a, uh, another bottle to compare this to. This glare is just working tonight, isn't it? I just want you to see it's 32 fluid ounces. And th this is a refill bottle. And in addition to that, this is what caught my eye before I even saw the Fantastic was this big scrubbing bubbles. I'm like, I know that's a name brand. I remember I, the, the little logo guy. I'm like, that's not that little imitation one they try to fool you with. And I was like, look at this big old scrubbing bu bubbles bottle. That's a tongue twister. Look at this big old scrubbing bubbles bottle. So I saw this one. I was like, wow, that's a good deal. So it's a refill. And then when I went and looked around a little bit more, once I saw this, I was like, what else do they have? And that's when I saw this huge, fantastic bottle. So this is a great deal. These are heavy and they have a lot of product in them. And for buck twenty-five name brand, you cannot go wrong. So if you guys see these, you already know these aren't going to last. So I don't even have to say if you see them, get them. Because you, you shop at the Dollar Tree, you already know that. This item I found, oh, what's in here? There's something in here first. Well, let's do those next. This was a cool little item. It's called a shampoo rinse uh, container by the Angel of Mine. This was in the baby section. And it's for rinsing, washing the baby's hair. You see the little baby. And you know how babies are. You want to scoop it and gently pour it on top of them without freaking them out because most of them don't really like water. And it has this silicone section here. So when you're scooping it up and pouring the water, you can just sit it on their head and get a nice pour so the water goes back and doesn't go down their face. But obviously, I didn't buy this for a baby. I bought this for Lacey because Lacey is 10 times worse than a baby. She freaks out whenever I'm bathing her. She's so difficult. So I try to be as gentle as possible with her. So Lacey is my dog, for those of you who don't know. Um, so I got this for Lacey, and it's a good size um, to get a nice big amount of water to pour and get a good rent. So this is a great item to have. And you can think of tons of different uses for it other than what it's made for. And that's the other thing that's great about it. Now, these next two items are two more containers that I forgot were over here. So let me show you these. And these are, they were probably for Easter. <clears throat> but again, you know, finding stuff for men and little boys to me at the Dollar Tree is a lot more challenging than finding stuff for women. So when I saw these, 
I definitely got them because I know there's going to be a time where there's going to be a little boy that you're going to want to give, I'm going to want to give a gift to, and I'm going to want to have a container that's appropriate. So this is the football version and the soccer version. These were the only two that I found. And they, of course, they both have handles, which I'm sure they were there for Easter. But think outside of the box. Easter is not the only time you can use a gift, I mean a container like this to give to a little boy or a little girl if she likes football or soccer. Got to be equal today, so I don't want to put a stigma on anything. Now, these next items here I have, these are the only ones that I got from the uh, food area. This McCormick Grill Mates Roasted Garlic and Herb Seasoning. I love to season my food. So when I'm cooking, um, I can't have bland food. So anytime I see, especially <clears throat> with garlic in it, I'm going to be drawn to it. And something that I could use on chicken or ground turkey because I don't really cook meat. I don't cook meat. I don't even buy meat for no reason other than I just don't. So they had this one. And then they also had this Montreal chicken seasoning. I don't know what Montreal tastes like. So... I'm looking forward to trying this one to see if I like the, the taste of it. And these are resealable. Oh, are they resealable? Yeah, they're resealable bags. Where's the, re oh, I see it's down in this part. So once you open it, um, you know, you can reseal it and you use it all up. And then the other one that I got was this Old Bay seasoning. And this makes me think New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I think it's kind of like that Bayou Old Bay. So I, I'm hoping that that's what it is because I like the seasonings that they have in their food like um, gumbo and all those little types of meals. So, and it's a good amount for a buck because I bought some spices online from the Raw Spice Bar and they are like really authentic type of fresh spices that are amazing. And um, they're, they're about $12 a bag, and it's about double this. So you don't get that much more. So this is a good amount for buck twenty-five, especially, you know, from name brand company. So, again, these are the three that I got, and um, they had more. They had, like, a Lowry's garlic salt. Um, I think they had a seasoning salt. It, they will be in my next walkthrough video. So if you're curious to see what the other ones were, just make sure to catch that. Now, this one item that I got in the drink section, I was curious about. I don't drink alcohol or anything like that, but this is a strawberry margarita mix. And it says alcohol-free, zero, it says non-alcoholic, zero calories, and it's sugar-free. So that made me curious. And they also, had, now I hauled these before, but I thought it was alcoholic stuff. And I'm like, oh, I don't drink, so I just didn't even consider it. But um, when I was editing the video, because a lot of times when I'm editing my video, I'm shopping again, and it'll spark me sometimes to go back and get something, because I was like, oh, I didn't know that. So when I saw that this was non-alcoholic, zero calories, sugar-free, I was like, and it's strawberry? I said, I'm going to give it a try. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to use it, um, it says the brand is Refresh Me and it says here on the bottle that Refresh Me was created so you could quench your guilty pleasure without the guilt. Add to any of your favorite spirits and also use, also use to add a zing of great taste to water, sparkling water, or any other beverage you enjoy. All of our items have no sugar and zero calories. Okay, so that's the premise behind this. So you can just add it to water, you can sparkling water. So I'll probably do that. Just add it to some water and see um, how much it lifts it up. But that's why I got that. Again, if it was alcoholic, I would not get it because I do not drink. I don't like the taste of alcohol. The next item I got was these two are repeat purchases that I want to share. I always tell you these things are my favorite drink, and I was so happy to see them come out with a new flavor this year, um, sparkling black raspberry, and I just wanted to come back on here and tell you it's great. 
and I definitely couldn't wait to find some more. So in case anybody's curious about this, it's really good. This one touts that it's with vitamins and antioxidants, zero sugar. Um, it's sparkling water, so it gives you that soda uh, effect. has five calories, about three servings per container, uh, and then the servings are five calories each, and each serving is 12 fluid ounces, in case you're wondering. And um, but yeah, I, I like these. These are really good, so I was happy to find more. And then the other repeat purchase I just wanted to share with you, if you haven't tried these Snyder's, braided twist honey wheat pretzels they are good they are delicious they are a good size um, these are great if you're looking for a little carb fix they will hit the spot or at least they do for me it's made with real honey now they have an, another brand at the dollar tree an, another brand that's not name brand like snyder's i've tried that one before as well and it's not bad but this one i really like I like them both, but if I have a choice, I'm always going to go with this one first. And then the very last item that I wanted to share with you is something that most of you probably wouldn't need because it's for dogs. If you do have a dog, they have this Nature's Best Flea and Tick Shampoo, and I was in need of a new bottle because I just ran out of my old bottle when I gave Lacey her bath. So I'm prepared for her. The next time I give her a bath with this container and with some flea and tick shampoo because I just groomed her, cut all her hair short, and so I'm ready. I wonder if this smells like the other one. No, it doesn't. And it's I like the container that it's in. The packaging makes it look really fancy. Like it's not a big old white bottle that you just squeeze. Look at how elegant it looks. So I'm hoping... Um, this is Nature's Best Flea and Tick Shampoo, manufactured by Blue Cross Laboratories in Santa Clarita. That's about, you know, not far from where I am. Um, okay, so that's everything. Um, I hope you guys found some or saw something that you might be interested in. If I were to give you a recommendation of things to look out for if you want them, these two items, they're going to go quick because you're not going to go to Target, Walmart, anywhere, get 32 fluid ounces for a buck 25 of these name brand products. So if you see those, grab them. The other suggestion is if you're into uh, summer decor and you see this pink flamingo, most likely he's going to go quick. So don't say, oh, I'll get one later. Get it now. And then the other thing, too, was these containers, um, because I think they're so cute and scalloped and feminine looking, these aren't going to last. They're going to go quick. They had just put them out when I was there, so that's why I'm like, I grabbed them. And, oh, and then I'll tell you, I really feel like the other item that's going to go quickly are these bows. I think the JoJo Siwa bows, these two, and then... The LOL, I think anything LOL goes really quickly. Probably Frozen too, um, but I've seen more LOL than anything. I don't know what, what the deal is, but they really don't uh, sit around long. And I don't know about these. Maybe these might go fast, maybe they won't. Again, I don't know if that's a California-only uh, offering because it is a company that's in California. And um, so if you see it, I don't know that that's going to be something that goes really quick because I'm not into makeup like that but if you know then you know better than me if those if you think those would go quickly and then the last thing I would recommend that you act quickly on are um this little play school item because it is play school it is a name brand <clears throat> Dollar Tree has a version but I think this one will be uh people will be drawn to this one a lot quicker than they will the dollar tree version because they'll probably assume it's better made and not as cheap so that's all i have um and maybe one more suggestion maybe these patterns might go quickly because they're so freaking cute especially this teddy bear so if you're a sewer i don't know how competitive your world is in the sewing if you're looking for sewing items but yeah, so thank you so much for joining me tonight or this morning. What time is it? About 
dang, I don't have my watch on. It's got to be about 2, 2.30 a.m. So I'm wide awake. I'm a vampire these days. So I like to just be productive when I'm awake and I'm uh, up and alert and I can knock things out. So you guys have a great weekend. Um, today, when you see this, will be, ooh, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. I'm not superstitious or anything, but it just made me think about it. But I want to say closing out to my niece, happy birthday. I know today is your birthday. I sent you a card yesterday, but I was just playing, trying to make sure it happened and I knew how to do it. But happy birthday to you. And here's to many more. And I, I will talk to you today as well. I see you didn't pick up my call tonight, so I assume you were asleep. But anyways, you guys, have a great, great weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up the video. Like the video. Leave me a comment if you have any questions about anything. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget Win One Wednesday and watch out for my next walkthrough, which should be walkthrough number 128, if I'm not mistaken. And hopefully that will be up Saturday morning. If not Saturday, Sunday, but I'm planning on Saturday. So I'm putting it out there. So look forward on Saturday. All right, you guys take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Now, how do I end this thing? There we go.